In this video I'm going to show you how you can do keyword research using the Google Keywords tool. The Google Keywords tool is actually part of AdWords but you don't have to have an AdWords account to use it. It's quite a long URL so if you just simply go to Google and type in Google Keyword tool you'll be given the link to this particular site. What you need to do is to decide the word or phrase that you want to use. And I'm going to use the one affiliate marketing. The term keyword is actually a bit misleading. You can actually type in a whole phrase and have it look for similar keywords for you then you will want to check this box here show any ideas closely related to my search terms and that narrows down the number of keywords that you're going to get so you only get relevant types of keywords the match types you can have either broad exact or phrase if you're searching for keywords to put in an article or on your blog or something like that broad is going to be the best setting for that. Then type in the capture to prove that you're a real person. And then click here on search. And then you can see here your keyword ideas. If you're not signed in to AdWords then you're limited to 100 if you are an AdWords member, if you have an AdWords account then sign in and you can get considerably more keywords. You'll see several things here. You'll see it says competition, global monthly searches and local monthly searches. Competition is fairly self-explanatory. It's how much competition there is for that particular keyword on Google AdWords. That doesn't necessarily mean the number of websites out there that have that particular keyword on the site. It's just how many people are using this in Google AdWords. Global monthly searches in Google. This is going to be across the entire network and local monthly searches. This is going to be in the local version of Google if you're outside the US. Um, I'm in the UK so this will be the UK searches and you can organize your list of keywords, you can either sort them by relevance or you can sort them by competition or by global or local monthly searches uh, amongst other things. Generally I find it's best to sort your keywords by global monthly searches so you can see which is being looked for the most and what you want to look for really are keywords that have a high number of global monthly searches but the competition is either medium or low so for example when we have here affiliate website marketing that's quite a low one and it's getting 14,800 searches a month which isn't too shabby and you can see here. Now once you've decided what keywords you're going to have what you can do is check the checkbox next to the keyword and you can sort out keywords that you want and just do a few for this demonstration like that, that's not a bad one. Affiliate marketing on the internet this one's slightly higher but it's still a good one so I'll highlight that and what you want to do is to go through and find as many keywords as you can that are going to be relevant to the website that you have um, and if you're writing articles or if you're posting on your blog then to the particular subject matter that you're going to be covering and when you've got those then obviously you want to save them onto your computer so come over here to where it says download 
and click on selected and then you can decide which format you want to save them in you can have it as a CSV file for Excel which is probably the most common or you can have it as just a regular CSV file and there's some other formats as well I'm going to stick with CSV for Excel so click here on download then you get this window pops up the radio button to save the file is already checked so all I have to do is click on OK and it's downloading it now and there we go it's telling me that the downloads are complete so I can close the box now and I can dismiss this box here and you can see here we've got the uh, spreadsheet open so all I would need to do now would be to copy and paste this into a text document and write my article around it so there you go that's how you can use the Google keywords tool to do keyword research